All right, I love this story. I've read it to some of you before, um, but I figured it was worth it to read it to all of you. It's called Duckworth, The Difficult Child, written by Michael Sussman. And it's really not Duckworth who's difficult in this story. You'll see. There is a surprise. Duckworth was building a castle out of toothpicks when he heard a hissing sound. Here's his castle out of toothpicks. Pretty cool, right? He looked up and he saw a gigantic snake slithering out of his closet. Duckworth dashed downstairs where he found his parents sitting together on the sofa. They were reading a book called Dealing with Your Difficult Child. A huge snake came out of my closet, said Duckworth. I think it's a cobra. According to this book, said Mother, you are too old to be imagining monsters under your bed, Duckworth, or snakes hiding in your closet, for that matter. But it's a real snake, Duckworth insisted. It hissed at me. It's all in your head, said Father. It says here, you will forget such nonsense if we give you chores to do. Please wash the dishes. Duckworth, when you're done with that, take out the garbage and mow the lawn. By the time Duckworth finished his chores, he was so tired that he had, in fact, forgotten all about the snake. But after taking a nap, Duckworth was practicing his recorder when the cobra slithered right up and swallowed him whole. The snake slid downstairs and into the game room where Duckworth's parents were playing checkers. Where did you find that snake costume? asked Father. It's not a costume, said Duckworth from inside the cobra. The snake from my closet swallowed me. It's a crazy idea like these that make you such a difficult child, said Mother. The book says your fantasies will go away if we ignore them. Here he is, his arms and his legs inside the snake. So while Father prepared dinner, Mother continued playing checkers. Somehow, the snake managed to win. Father called everyone to the table. The snake slithered up onto Duckworth's chair. The book says we're supposed to include Duckworth in mealtime conversations, said Mother. Excellent, said Father. How was your day, Duckworth? Terrible, said Duckworth. I'm stuck inside a snake. Please use your knife and fork, Duckworth, said Mother. You're too old to be eating like an animal. We're at the table with the snake. There's Duckworth here, his face and his head, and they are still don't believe that he's in the snake. After dinner, Duckworth's parents went out for a stroll. The snake followed them. They met Mr. and Mrs. Snodgrass and stopped to chat. I see Duckworth's wearing his snake costume, said Mr. Snodgrass. It's not a costume, cried Duckworth. A snake swallowed me. Oh my, Mrs. Snodgrass said with a chuckle. What a vivid imagination. Yes, Mother agreed. That's what makes him such a difficult child. Luckily, we bought a book on how to handle difficult children like Duckworth, said Father. It says to keep him busy with playmates, so tonight we've invited his cousin Digby over for a sleepover. Oh, no, cried Duckworth. The snake will swallow Digby, too. Don't be ridiculous, Mother laughed. Digby is afraid of the dark. He'd never get inside your silly costume. This just cracks me up. Still inside the snake. Digby won't have any choice, thought Duckworth. He had to free himself at once. Fortunately, the time, by the time they got home, Duckworth had thought of a plan. He had once seen a snake charmer in the movie. The man had controlled a cobra by playing his flute. Duckworth felt around in the dark and found his recorder. And then he played the same tune that the snake charmer had played. So here he is inside the snake's belly with all the 
fish bones and frogs and bones and blah. Pen caps, pennies. Sure enough, the snake opened his mouth wide and Duckworth crawled out. It's about time you took off that silly costume, said father. Now please put it back in your closet until Halloween, said mother. Duckworth let the snake out the back door. As he watched it slither away into the bushes, he wondered where he could find a book for dealing with difficult parents. And there he is. Maybe reading his book on difficult parents? I don't know. I love that. Just the, the image of him inside the snake trying to get out. Great story.